Hi everyone, my name is Vicky Persisto. Welcome to my studio. I'm down in South Australia in Port Lincoln and I thought today I would talk to you about uh, drawing just for fun using charcoal and perhaps working from an image that you've had sitting around for a long time. Uh, in this case I've had this for probably over 30 years uh, with the intention of doing something with it eventually. So I thought we could start by sort of really laying things out in fine detail, working from a grid or some other technique. But I'm a great proponent of the Betty Edwards uh, technique of drawing from the right side of the brain. So I'm going to familiarise myself with my subject using charcoal on cheap um, paper. We call it butcher's paper down here. It's a paper that butchers wrap the meat up in. Uh, it's not expensive and as with charcoal, it's very affordable and you can uh, not worry about making mistakes. You need some long pieces and some short pieces that you can use either the pointed end or the sides for shading. So, as I say, I'm not going to spend time trying to um, work this all out before I start. The reason we all started doing art was probably because in um, years gone by, it was just a fun thing to do. And we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and often the fun sort of goes out of it. I'll get started. I'm just going to roughly sketch out what I can see, the main things that I can see. And once I've got something down, then I can go ahead and um, change it to suit. and I'm going to look for large shapes and the angles on the edges of those shapes directions of lines and kind of proportions for example here I'm looking for where the eye we often draw what we think we can see, but on closer inspection, we notice that we can't really see what we've just drawn at all. We've sort of made it up as we've gone along, thinking, oh, I know what's that, what an eye looks like. I don't need to look that carefully. So in this case, the eyes are on the left-hand side of the um, eye shape, peeking back at us. Now, if there's any mistakes, we can use our finger to smudge it, or we can um, use a rubber. I'll show you the rubber in a minute. So we may notice that some shapes really do need quite a bit of a change. probably crop it about there. So I'm going to be going down to the top of the bathers. 
and your oil burns up here somewhere. Now I can come in with a few darker lines. I want to take that shape out, so I'm just going to rub that out with a soft grey um, putty rubber. You notice that's quite good at taking out lines that are not quite right. That little button nose. Again, we're looking for shapes, these negative shapes that help define the edge of the face. And the shapes of the fingers. If, if I'm not happy with the putty rubber taking those out, I can use a harder um, sort of white plastic rubber, which can um, help a lot in really taking those colours out. So I'm just going to put a shadow there so that the arm stands out. If I want to, I can sort of smudge that. Look at where shapes uh, start and finish. Like, um, obviously, that nose is too wide. I'll take that out. That's a bit too defined. Let's just accentuate those eyelashes. Put those little darks in. See how just taking a bit off the chin uh, gives a much more childlike uh, appearance to the face. There are very few hard lines in children's faces. And we really want to accentuate that dark hair and the curve of her shoulder. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of pulling out some lights um, here and I can smudge in some greys if I want to soften that tone a bit. Accentuate the darker edges.
not every shape has to be terribly well defined or it is nice to be able to see what it is that you're drawing. There's a shadow under there. see that if I do develop this into a proper drawing I'm going to have to spend a bit of time working out these uh, fingers. Now skin is not white so let's put a bit of shading in here and bring in some of that hair. See it, try and capture it, put it in there. You can see some lovely white little teeth. She's starting to get that sort of cheeky expression now. back in with your charcoal drawing in any detail that you can see. Just put that little hole in the margin, sort of looking through into spying on your friends <laughs> as you do when you're a child. Okay, let's just put that little oops, little tiny hand here. Think you've got the idea so this is um drawing i'm trying to straighten up a bit Oops, so that you can see it. so this is simply drawing from the right side of the brain um not trying to create a masterpiece but just drawing and having fun with it and seeing what the potential of your image might be before you start um labor intensive sort of plotting out onto a canvas or say a watercolour, but I can see just from what I've done there, it's a fun um, subject and it's something that I could potentially use um, for a piece of artwork or in a piece of artwork. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment below if you have enjoyed the video. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.